Clear connectivity means everything in a network. Default configuration settings often make that happen effortlessly. But it's always good to know some options when customizing your network, making it as efficient as possible. When you understand the port speeds on your switch, you can ensure that each device works at its optimal speed. In this episode of Cisco Tech Talk, I'll explain port speeds on the CBS350 switch. To begin, port speed defines the speed that traffic will move within that defined port. The CBS350 has three different port speeds, 10 megabytes per second, 100 megabytes per second, and 1000 megabytes per second. By default, a CBS350 switch automatically negotiates these port speeds. This means that the switch will auto-negotiate with the device that is connected to its port and select the negotiated speed. Ideally, you'll want the switch to be working at the highest port speed possible. To do this, configure the port speeds on the CBS350 switch. To start, navigate to the port settings page under port management, where you can see all the ports on the switch. To demonstrate, I'll click on port GE1 and then click on the edit button. As you can see, auto negotiation is already enabled. This means that the switch and the device will automatically negotiate a speed between the two. It's important to have devices that are capable of 1000 megabytes per second having that access so that they're all working at the fastest possible speeds. However, there may be a time that you will need to manually choose a port speed. If that's the case, disable auto negotiation on the page here. For example, if you want to allow port connections that are capable of 1000 megabytes per second, you can choose that option. This means that the port will only work with devices that are capable of 1000 megabytes per second. If a device tries to connect and it is not capable of these speeds, the connection will not work. This is a good way to make sure that only fast port speeds are allowed on this switch. Another example of when you might see issues with port speeds and latency is if there are cameras and a camera controller all connected to your switch. In this scenario, the cameras negotiate with the switch at 1000 megabytes per second, while the camera controller is negotiating at 100 megabytes per second. In this situation, the cameras will be transmitting efficiently, but the controller in charge of moving the cameras is negotiating at lower speeds. This would make the live feed have latency. The best thing to do in this situation is to make sure all devices are set to 1000 megabytes per second. So there you go. Now you know how a CBS350 switch works at the highest possible port speed, auto negotiates, and how to adjust this as needed. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.